We now talk about uh, markets in October. This is something that we uh, wrote about in the first week of uh, November. We just give a short recap here. So in the month of October, we saw U.S. yields go up very sharply. So um, from after the 50 basis point sort of rate cut that the Federal Reserve delivered in September, yields sort of bottomed out, but rose nearly 75 basis points or even more since then uh, till around end of October. Now, what has been this reason? When Federal Reserve actually has been cutting rates and has been talking about uh, cutting more rates, uh, why did the uh, yields actually go up? So there are two things that we have to remember here. One is what data is telling you and one is what market narratives are telling you. Narratives are as important as data because narratives tell you what the markets are thinking about, what are in, on the minds of the markets. Uh, you saw the move index, which is something very similar to, you talk about the VIX uh, for equities, the move index is uh, a volatility index for bonds. You saw a sharp jump in uh, the move index as well. And that's exactly what you see here in yields. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, that you exactly what you see here in yields, yields going up a fair bit. The main reason for yield moving up sharply have been broadly um, one stronger than expected U.S. macros. U.S. macros continues to remain strong, so much so that Powell, uh, the, the Federal Reserve Chair Powell, continues to keep talking about how strong U.S. macros remain. Uh, second, uh, there's been this increasing expectation in the markets ahead of U.S. elections. Markets were increasingly expecting an anti-incumbency uh, in the political atmosphere in uh, the U.S. And a Republican uh, win, markets felt, would um, uh, impact um, uh, policies, policy priorities. So, uh, so um, given that U.S. economy was also fairly strong, the market slowly started reducing their rate cut expectations for the months ahead and for 2025. So in line with what the markets had understood us, uh, early in November, even commentary from the Fed Chair Powell uh, appears to be indicating that they are having a rethink on the pace of rate cuts that they had projected uh, for the years ahead. So the third main factor has been anti-incumbency that we talked about. So the fear that the markets had of a jump in tariffs uh, expected to cause inflation and a rise in fiscal spending that put more pressures. So as we speak, um, the DXY, the dollar index, has crossed 106 uh, on the dollar index, which uh, appears to be a reflection of how much of um, uh, 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 an inflationary sort of a spiral that the markets are sort of like, uh, pricing in at this point in time. We don't really know how, uh, how much of that will play out. We will have to wait till around the 20th of January when the current the Republican uh, government will swear in. And probably uh, for two to three weeks after that, we have to wait to see what the announcements are from the Republican government to get a better understanding of whether or what the markets are pricing at this point in time. Is it justified or is it just an overreaction? We'll have to wait for that to see. This is the market narrative. When, but when we look at data and try and see what have U.S. yields really been tracking, you can see for more than a couple of years now, U.S. yields have broadly just been tracking crude price movements. Now, you can see a small uh, divergence here. This has, one can probably say that this is the election-related impact. But broadly, from a trend point of view, it's very clear that the directionality of crude is what U.S. 10-year yields appear to be um, uh, tagging. Now, how is that important for India? If you plot U.S. 10-year yields and India 10-year yields, you see the clear directionality here as well. So it's U.S. yields are not just important for global markets, global risk on risk offs, etc. They are very important for India as well from a directionality point of view, given that it does form a certain structural layer to the direction of India 10-year yields. And um, if you have the time, you can take a look at uh, the study that uh, uh, the uh, U.S. Senate Committee uh, came about, talking about how uh, a $10 sort of an increase in crude prices did have an impact on inflation, pushing it up by around 0.2% and setting uh, back GDP by 0.1%. So from both the yield point of view, inflation point of view, and GDP point of view, we get an understanding as to how important crude prices are. For India, uh, more than 30% of India's imports are uh, crude related, and uh, the direction and the level of crude prices also are extremely important for India fiscal, for India yields, for India inflation, and India markets on the whole. 